Nampak, nampak, nampak. Okay. Um, Hi, Assalamualaikum. Today, uh, my group represent about uh, contention-based contention protocol, contention-based protocol, circuit switching, which is contained about FDMA, GDMA, and CDMA. Uh, okay, what is about FDMA? FDMA is a frequency division multiple access. Uh, it, it is a channel access method used in some multiple access protocol. Uh, it allow multiple users to send data through a signal communication channel, such as a coaxial cable or microwave beam. By dividing the bandwidth of the channel into separate uh, non-overlapping frequency sub-channel and allocating each sub-channel to uh, separate users. Uh, user also can send data through a sub-channel by modulating it on a carrier wave at a sub-channel frequency. Uh, it is uh, used in satellite communication system and telephone trunk, trunk line. Uh, what the advantage of uh, FDMA? It reduces the work simple to implement from a hardware standpoint, use of efficient numerical codes increase the capacity, and uh, FDMA system is often easily implemented. The system is often configured, uh, so the improvement in terms of speech encoder and bit rate redu reduction could be easily incorporated. The disadvantage, which is a uh, gap band uh, may waste capacity, it is suitable only for analog signal, storage enhancement and signal it is not possible and the last bandwidth requirement for transponders. Uh, now I will uh, proceed to Isidin. Uh, testing, Assalamualaikum. Uh, my name is Isidin. Uh, I will explain to you how TDMA, which is Time Division Multiple Access, works. So, it is a channel access method for shared medium network. Next. So for TDMA, it allows several users to share the same frequency channel by dividing the signal into different time slots. It is also it's a digital cellular telephone communication technology like a facilitated many users to share the same frequency without interference. So each technology divide a signal into different time slot and increase the data carrying capacity, which is a complex analogy because it is required an accurate synchronization between the transmitter and the receiver. And it used in digital mobile radio system, but the individual mobile station secretly assign a frequency for the exclusive use of a time interval. So next for the advantage, so it is no gap band required to for the wide band system. Uh, no narrow band filter required for the wide band system. Uh, and third, permits flexible rates, which is several slots can be assigned to a user. And lastly, can withstand custody of variable bit rate traffic. Uh, for the number of slots allocated to a user can be changed frame by frame. Next, the this event. Uh, an electronic operating at high bit rates increase energy consumption. For the high data rates of broadband system require complex equalization. And for the third, call time is needed in each slot to accommodate time turn inaccuracies due to the, to the clock instability. And for the last, due to the burst mode, many additional bits are required for synchronization and supervision. Ideal the ideal. Does it mean ideal the? Tak ada sama. Tak ada lah kan? Sama lah. Yeah. Okay, uh, for the last CDMA, which is code division multiple access. Uh, it is a channel access method used by various radio communication technologies. Next. For an example of a multiple access, where several transmitters can send information simultaneously over a single communication channel. Uh, second, it optimizes the use of available bandwidth as it transmits over the entire frequency range. 
and it does not limit the user's frequency range. And last, it can be also used as a channel or medium access technology like uh, Aloha that we learn in diploma, for example, or a permanent pilot and signaling channel to allow user to synchronize their local oscillators to a common system frequency, thereby also estimating the channel parameters permanently. For the advantage, firstly, it works and at an extremely low force level. Next, CDMA does not need any synchronization. It's also less impedance because of handoff highlights diminish call dropping. And for call quality is better with more predictable sound when contrasted with TSM. And lastly, uh, CDMA channel isn't effectively decodable, thus it offers increments cell correspondence correction for the disadvantage. <coughs> In CDMA, time synchronization is required because of, and it cannot offer worldwide mandarin, which is a huge DSM advantage. For an organization of CDMA, isn't about a scenes, it's moderate new with DSM. And last, the CDMA framework integration the basis with an expansion in the quantity of clients. So, I think that's all from us. Thank you. Then. Thank you, thank you, group two. Uh, good job. Uh, the lady, Jen. Okay.